You will after this workout. Let's do some power yoga. Remember my friends, use control, modify as needed. Let's forget the past. Don't even think about the future, unless it's back to the future, the movie. And let's get in the present with this power yoga flow. Always use control and modify as needed. Who am I? Ishai Sean, SeanVigFitness.com. Cap on and let the narration begin. Why, thank you, Sean. Let's do some power yoga. Remember, modify as needed. We're going to keep on moving, moving, and then a little more moving. Beginning a downward facing dog. Open those fingers nice and wide, relaxing the neck. I'm doing this with my shoes on. Of course, you can do it without shoes, socks, or if you're truly daring, go barefoot. Let's start with some nice slow walks here, stretching out the backs of the legs. Going to move from posture to posture in this video. So always be controlled, be mindful of what you are doing, and for the love of God, make sure you are breathing. I'll give you lots of cues for that. Feel those legs stretching out as you relax the neck, stretching out the arms, relaxing the shoulders, chest moving towards the legs, now forward into plank. Hands are on the shoulders, pressing the heels back, and we keep on walking. We're generating some heat. Some beautiful heat. Once in a while, you'll see me look over. My dog is sitting over there. You'll see her at the end of the workout. She's very uh, enthralled by this power yoga flow. Good. Keep your abs tight. It's always what's not moving that's working the hardest. Lower down nice and slow. Elbows hugging the sides. And cobra. Draw those shoulders back. Elbows up against the sides. Arms against the sides. Squeeze your tush. Tush means your bum. Tuck the toes back to down dog. Get used to down dog. We do a lot of down dog in this flow. Now both the knees bend with the inhale, exhale, stretch. You're going to be amazed at how much flexibility you're going to unleash in just a short amount of time. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch. You can see me working the chest towards the legs. You're going to feel a lot of this out into plank position. And now both the knees stretching. Check out the dog. She's doing fine. She's probably doing up dog. Da -dum -tsh. Inhale, soften, exhale, stretch. Hands are on the shoulders. Moving into it. We're getting warmed up. Now shift the weight forward, lower down. Cobra or upward facing dog. Drop the shoulders back. Squeeze your tush. Protect your lower back. Move a little side to side. We're loosening up that spine. And back to down dog. That, my friends, is vinyasa flow. Let's put it together. Inhale forward. We got plank. Now lower down. You get stronger. You just sweep the chest through like a snake. And back to down dog. Take the right leg up. Now we're going to do that vinyasa flow with that right leg lifted. So sweep forward and reach it through. Now both the feet come down making connection with the mat and press back. Left leg comes up. So alternating legs forward with precision. There we are. Nice slow scraping forward and then pressing back our beloved down dog. Bring that right leg up. We're going to sweep it forward into a lunge. Fix the tank top. There we are. Stretching that back leg out nice and loose, relaxing the shoulders. Knee is not going past the toes. Now we twist that lunge. Left hand comes down, open up each exhale. Twist a little bit more. Set the hands down and back to plank position. Sweep through. Awesome. Love that movement. Press it back. Down dog. Left leg comes up. Visualize where you're going to put that foot and then make it so. And we have crescent lunge. Touchdown. Shoulders relaxed. Fingers reaching, shoulders down, always solidifying good posture. And we twist, try to get a straight line from the fingertips to the fingertips. We almost got there. We're working on it. We're getting it. We're getting it. Step back, plank, and sweep through, get more proficient. Do that nice little snake thingy. That's what it's called, snake thingy. Press back, down dog, right leg up. Now sweep through the reverse lunge. Reach that arm. We're going to do the reverse warrior in a little bit. Here's a little taste of the lunge. Walking that left hand down the leg. Feel the sides opening up as you feel the legs working together. And then prayer twist. Hello there. Each exhale, draw the shoulders back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. You're squeezing out the sides. Step to plank and sweeping through. 
Uh, holding it there for a little bit in the hover as you get stronger and stronger. Left leg up. Sweep forward. All right. <laughs> there we are. Reverse lunge other side. Good. Let every breath carry you a little further into the pose or into any of these poses. You'll be amazed at what your body can do in a short amount of time. And now prayer twist, taking a nice look back at the sky, each exhale drawing back. One of my favorite places to film, by the way, this is the amphitheater here in town. And there's just all these great spots. Love going outside, back to plank, sweep through, squeeze the tush, shoulders back, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. All right, we're going to jump forward to a catcher's squat. Toes pointed out, sitting tall, using the elbows to open the hips, pressing the tailbone down towards the mat. Now you can stay here, my friends, or bring the hands down into crow. Crow from Mystery Science Theater. Take it forward. The feet come off the mat. If that's too much, if you're going to tumble forward, lean forward, but keep the toes down. Great workout for the arms, the forearms, building density in the bones and balance. And jump back. Sweep it through. Let that carry you right back to down dog. Right leg up. Stepping forward. And we have warrior one. Notice that back foot is pivoted out now a little bit to protect the knee. Stretching that leg. Sinking the shoulders down. Hands down. Plank. Up dog. Down dog, left leg up, sweep it through. And warrior eins, warrior one, shoulders relaxed, itching the nose. <laughs> oh, it's just glorious, isn't it, my friends? Stepping back, plank, sweep through. I'm always amazed at what your body can do, everything working together as it should. Be so thankful for that. Jump forward. We got that squat, that catcher squat once again with the option of going into crow as the sun comes back out. Uh, there we are, crow. Find that focal point on the ground as you really breathe. I'm doing a count of five deep breaths here. Jump back, sweep through travel a lot of distance, burning a lot of calories. Step back, right leg up, comes forward, pivot out, warrior one, into warrior two, shoulders above the hips, farmer tan, and then reverse warrior, just like we did with the lunge. Now we're going to pinwheel down into plank and hover. Down we go, open up. Now, be careful with that one. Pause the video and come back to it. Work on it. Left leg up, forward, our little warrior journey here, warrior one, into number two. There we are. Mindful of those legs and reverse it. Big stretch, working the legs, stretching the hip flexors. Pinwheel down, step back, and sweep it through. Excellent, excellent. All those muscles working together. Right leg up, forward. Let's do that again. We have warrior one. Oh, careful. <laughs> warrior two, open up and reverse pinwheel those arms down step or jump back and bring it through remember no matter how fast you go make sure you are controlled very important left leg up for repeating to make it better every time we do it we get a little more proficient efficiency of movement yep oh gratuitous all right <laughs> and reverse just a glorious day pinwheel down jump back plank hover sweep it through oh yes and back to down dog let's invest in our down dog again invest in that down dog with the knee bends inhale really deep bend and you'll find those heels really working their way down you also find that my shoes match my shorts inhale soften the knees stretch feel the spine responding the muscles in the back responding and jump forward once again we have the squat opening the hips or crow crow cubed can't get enough crow today working those arms i found doing this the third time it felt almost comfortable like i want to read a book there jump back sweep through open that chest down dog right leg up sweep forward pivot out there we are we have warrior one Warrior two, reverse warrior, we're moving, we're moving, pinwheel down, jump back, sweep it through, full body stretch, burning so many calories, left leg up, 
Let's repeat it on the other side. Balance, arms up, warrior one, feeling powerful, overlooking a cliff, reach forward and back, reverse, arms down, back we go. Oh, very nice. Keeping those abs tight. Everything resonates from the core, so you want to keep that core engaged. All right. Now, into plank position. The rounded plank. I want you to pull that upper body up towards the sky, shifting the weight forward onto the tippy toes, as you can see, stretching the spine, and then drop down to up dog, this time with the toes tucked. Smile. Again, plank and round it. Very challenging. I've done this in my classes a few times. You're squeezing, you're wringing out your spine and shifting that way forward. A good drop down, tuck the toes, or you can bring the tops of the feet down if the toe tuck is a little too much, a little shifting side to side, working out the kinks. And downward facing dog. Forward, sweep it through, classic vinyasa flow. When in doubt, we love to flow. Back to down dog. Okay, we're gonna jump or walk forward. And forward fold, dramatically coming up into flat back. Fingers on the shins or fingertips to the floor. And then exhale down, forward fold, adjust the cap, rising all the way up. And facing the front, triangle pose, opening up that, well, whatever, you can mirror me. We'll say it's your left hip. We're going to do a little active triangle. We take that arm and we reach it, squeezing the thighs, looking up to your aesthetically pleasing armpit. Now we got a nice little button on the end of this one here, the extreme triangle. Just lift that arm up. Doesn't look like much. Give it a go, and you're going to enjoy it immensely. It's good for mir. Sehr. Shoulders back. And now reverse triangle. Beautiful pose. I love this pose. Revolving triangle, reverse triangle. Each inhale, lift. Each exhale, open up a little more, wringing out the sides. And your legs are squeezing. Really squeeze those thighs. Tie the shoe real quick. Bring the arm up. Again, stretch out that arm. You're going to feel a beautiful stretch all the way down your sides, working your entire body with this pose. Whew. I'm sorry. There we are. Extreme triangles. Breathing along with there for a moment. Quick nose itch as we reach. Really keep those abs nice and tight. And revolving triangle. Now, more advanced. Take the hand to the other side of the foot. Find your focal point. Squeeze the legs. Open it up. You want to open up that spine, open up the breath. All right, rising up, dun, 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 and voila. Switching to the other side, reach, we have our triangle. And we do the active triangle. Inhale, lift, exhale, stretch. Making sure not to collapse into the triangle. Stay nice and lifted in the core. And reach, and extreme. Extreme. Breathe into it. When it gets tough, when in doubt, my friends, breathe a little bit more. The breath is the fuel that you need. And let's revolve it. Totally balanced. Reaching tall, drawing that arm back. Think of squeezing between a screen door and a door of any town USA. Again, another set here. We're doing four of these as far as the arm reaches. Four. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch. By the way, my shirt, Pilates for Men, you can order that download at my store at seanvigfitness.com slash store. Quick plug in there, but it is my video. I can do that. Extreme triangle, my friends, squeezing the legs. All right, now we got a reverse hand to the other side of the foot. Focal point, balance. Feel that balance, the strength, the stamina that comes with these poses. They demand a lot of energy. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Let's sink those heels down even further. It's a joyful day when those heels actually touch the floor. And it will happen. You'll be amazed at how much more flexible you will get. It's all right inside you. You're just stripping away the junk. All right, forward, plank position. Now step out, the Spider-Man lunge, and lift up. I love this one. Draw the arms down, bring the arms up, sink back down, step back, plank, Spider-Man lunge. So I'm stepping to the outside of my hand. If you can't get it all the way up there, don't worry. It'll come. You can use the hands to bring it up there. We're going to keep on moving. Step back again. Once more, each side, forward. Get a nice right angle in that leg. You should make that pose a work of art, worthy of any museum. Step forward, 
Inhale, lift, exhale, open the chest, aligning that posture. Inhale, lift, exhale down, stepping back, plank, sweep it through, squeeze the glutes, back to down dog. All right, little surprises around every corner. We're going to come forward into plank. Drop the forearms down. Let's uh, get our forearm plank. First, elbows are on the shoulders. There's a little move coming up that's optional. You may not find it in a lot of power yoga classes, but it's a great way to target even more muscles. It's the plank punch. We just jab that arm forward. I'm doing 20 of these, alternating arms, of course, trying to keep my body as stable as possible. It's very challenging. You can see me moving a little bit there, but my abs are tight. I'm keeping it. The tush down on my body is parallel to the floor. Now press up, sweep through. Oh man, my arms were burning like crazy right here. A wonderful feeling to be sure. Good. Reach that down dog. Get as much as you can out of it. Again, drop those forearms down. And when you're ready, plank punches. Power yoga plank punches. More challenging, bring the legs together as you do this there's little jabs little jabs but stabilize that center then plank sweep through up dog oh man yes the smile signifies all is well got our down dog and now the ripple nice and slow forward doing the super slow vinyasa there we are up we go work the transition Take your time, na 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 and back to down dog. Good. Relax those shoulders, top of the head towards the floor. Step or jump forward. Let's roll into half boat. There we are. Can you see me? Okay. Tie the shoes. That's all part of the plan. <laughs> Fix the blouse. Shoulders are back. Abs are tight. I love our half boats. Slowly, we extend out into full boat. Back into half boat. Keep an eye on those abdominals. Keep them squeezing the entire time. Inhale out. Exhale back in. Shift. Inhale. Extend. If this bothers your tailbone or your, your tush, uh, make sure you can, you can roll up your mat a little bit more. All right. One more. Out we go. Bring it back in. Okay, now transition here. Scooch forward. Make sure you scooch. We come up and over into the plow arms to the sides you can take the hands to your lower back i'm going to reach back and grab those toes now you can stay in your plow my friends you're lengthening the legs here or lift the legs up inhale tall squeeze those abdominals relax the neck and we're going to roll right up into half boat up oh, scooch back <laughs> All right, again, inhale out, exhale in. I think I was afraid I wasn't on camera, but it appears I am. Good, smooth. Ah, uh, yes, present those legs out, keeping those abs strong. Ein mehr. One more time. Inhale out, exhale in. And scooch forward. Now transition again. Smooth. Now this is you know, it's getting pretty advanced here. Don't be afraid to modify. Lift those legs up all in the abdominals. See how high you can get them? It's like a shoulder stand in a way, but you're down here. And then roll right up into half boat pose. And now the extended boat. I want you to grab as high as you can. I'm grabbing my feet. If, if you can't do that right now, grab your legs. You're going to extend, squeezing your core, engaging the core so you don't fall backwards. Now roll back, lifting those legs up. Option to pulse the legs here. There go my note cards. But don't be fooled. It's not the legs doing the work. It is your core. Your core is the center of your strength, your stomach, lower back, hips and glutes. It's keeping you positioned right there, especially with the arms over the head. Rolling up, half boat. Again, extended boat. You want your upper body and lower body to become one. Each exhale brings them a little bit closer. Pressing through the heels. It's a fantastic stretch, like a seated down dog, rolling back, tucking in the shirt. <laughs> How couth. All right, we have a classic shoulder bridge here, guys, or up into wheel pose. Wheel pose, definitely more advanced. Good way to get through this. There goes the, oh man, there's a wardrobe malfunction, but we persevere, we're focused, we're breathing. We come on down, flip back. The mat, fix the hair, cap goes back on. 
and roll back up live filming extend back up extended boat you're gonna feel this for the next two or three days i promise but it's so good you'll sleep better you're stretching the legs you're working the core you're working your balance roll back again one more time bridge or wheel pose all the way up deep breaths into that pose lengthening the arms i know it's you're a little fatigued at this point i am here definitely i'm turning to my breath and my focus rolling back up one more time extended boat one day more there we are elbows to the outside so you're nice and open not constricting there we can feel that breath all right shoot the legs back plank position sweep through there we are connecting with our vinyasa flow once again back to down dog fingers open wide reposition those feet inhale bend those knees stretch them out loosen up those hamstrings inhale deep bend exhale stretch it out feel it all the way up into your glutes into your back into your shoulders just marvelous all right the ripple ripple forward and then drop down into the up dog take it back so you're piking tippy toes forward and as you come forward, round that spine like a cat. The leaf is enchanted by this. Inhale forward. And then exhale back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, down dog. Bend those knees. Jump forward. We're going to roll back once again into that plow position. Arms over the head. Bring those legs up. Now it's going to get pretty dicey here. The control balance, one leg at a time, while maintaining that posture. I'm just taking my fingers and touching my toes. Again, if this is too much, just hold plow or just go onto your back and bring the knees into your chest. But power yoga, got the name power in it. We're going to use it by George Alternating. Ten times, I believe. Neck is loose. Hold that for a moment. We're going to roll down, shoot the legs back, plank, sweep through, connecting with vinyasa flow. And back, down dog, down dog, right leg up, sweep it forward, and prayer twist. When in doubt, we love to twist, draw those shoulders back, cleaning out the sides. Always a great idea to turn to those sides, wring them out like a wet washcloth. Good. Taking a little bit longer here. It's a wonderful thing. Hands down, step back, plank, sweep through. You know the drill here. You know the drill. Left leg up, and we're going to do prayer twist on the other side. Ah, there we go. Shoulders back. Inhale, lift, exhale, draw those shoulders back, and twist a little bit more. And hands coming down, plank, sweep it through, long neck, down dog, right leg, forward, warrior one, pivoting that back foot out, warrior two, warrior three, retracing our chest, pinwheel down, step back, and repeat, other side, left leg up, warrior one, two, reverse and down good like to add this in just when you think you're not doing any vinyasas anymore here they come here they come that control that leaf good step it out wide-legged down dog i'm going to take my upper body side to side let me give you a front view of this so the neck is loose we're going side to side there we go and then back and forth it's causing that leaf to blow all over the place looking at the leaf <laughs> side to side sinking the heels down so we're getting a shoulder stretch i feel this in my sides i feel it in my low back in my legs good now forward forearm plank optional jumping jacks plank jacks in out 
keeping the integrity of the plank. These little surprises towards the end. I'm doing 20 of them. I'm keeping my tush as far down as I can. I think it was 20, 10 or 20. Jump back, wide-legged down dog. Now we're gonna ripple forward and press it back. Nice little adjustment there. Bring the feet in, forward knees down, and oh, child's pose, the big side. This officially marks our move into the cool down. So press it back, child's pose, relax the wrists, relax the fingers. Walking those hands over to the right, getting a nice side bend in the child's pose. Ah, let's focus on that breath. The muscles are warm, super warm. Walk to the other side, press back. Shoulders are drawing into the ribs, by the way. But let's gradually cool or yeah, cool our bodies down. All right. Straddle stretch. I want to open up the legs. Good, comfortable position, then a little bit past that. Here we are. Walk those fingers out. Find your starting spot. With each inhale, lift a little bit. With each exhale, sink it forward a little bit more. Let your fingers do the walking, pressing the backs of the knees down. You can flex your feet. Good. Now walk over to that left leg. There we are. I'm going to draw myself onto the leg and then add a little bit of a twist. So my back hand is behind me and I'm drawing to the outside of that leg, keeping both my cheeks down, not the ones on my face. Then we go to the other side. Keep working the backs of the knees down, checking on the dog. He's probably sniffing something strange over there. I love this twist. Flushing out the sides. I feel this in my back, my glutes, all over the place. Now, side bend. Pick where you want to put that bottom arm, but you want to keep that top shoulder backed. Don't let your body fall forward. You want to keep it back to get the most out of that stretch. My range is for the ego. Control is for the soul. Range for the ego. Control for the soul. Very, very precise statement. I love that statement. Not a big fan of platitudes, but that's a good one. So don't sacrifice form for something else, whatever that may be. You want to keep it honest. Uh, once again, walk those hands forward. This is 30 minutes of flowing power yoga with this equally powerful cool down that your body is just going to slide right into. All right. Cross the legs. Shake out the arms. I'm telling you. Uh-oh, switching the cap. This signifies that the end of the session is near, but not yet. Puzzle core. Let's go side to side. Side bends, keeping the tush down. You want a little bit more? Come down onto your forearm as you go to the side. Good. Both the arms coming up. And twist. Drop those shoulders. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we rotate. And then arms up, twisting to the other side. Great balance. Feeling that youth. Yoga is youth. Feeling like back in the days before you, the days before you ever stretched or did any of this stuff. You just felt good all the time. Lace those fingers behind you, by the way. Tuck that chin. I'm drawing my hands right towards the ground here. You can't see them, but take my word for it. That's what I'm doing. Opening the chest, breathing. Arms up. Now I'm going to lace them behind. I'm going to draw them back and reach the top of the head towards the floor. It's kind of a seated mudra position. But yeah, after these sessions, you, just, you feel so loose. Uh, the aches and pains just go away. Arms down. Good. Take that head side to side. I want to finish as loose as possible. So you can go tell all your friends to watch this. And do it, of course. Ah, okay. <laughs> Bring those arms up and down. And palms together very dramatically. Bring those hands down. Heart center and namaste, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. Brilliant work. Remember, keep practicing. Practice. Modify when needed. Celebrate by... I caught it. I usually miss the cap at the end. Thanks a lot. 
Uh, check out all my other videos on my YouTube page. Make sure to like, comment, and share. I really appreciate it, guys. And here is Addie. This is uh, who is watching me <laughs> from the side. Nice girl. She shall be rewarded for putting up with that whole half hour of filming. By the way, go to SeanVeekFitness.com. Sign up for my free e-newsletter. goes out beginning of every month. Chock full of all sorts of workout information. A pleasure. Take care and always God bless.